Hello and welcome back to Namibia. We are currently in northwest Namibia as part of our seven day road trip and I decided to make a separate video for our visit to the Damara Living Museum. Now the Damara are the second oldest people in Namibia, the second oldest natives after the San people and prior to 1800 they occupied most of Namibia. They were hunter gatherers initially and then moved on to herding sheep and cattle and they were very skilled in copper work as well so they were perfectly fine at looking after themselves but they were slightly less organized than the other tribes in the area which meant they got displaced quite easily. And during the 1800s there was a conflict between the Nama people and the Herero people and this squeezed the Damara people out of their settlements and so the area that they operated in got reduced and reduced over time and so gradually a lot of the Damara unfortunately became slaves to these more dominant tribes and then in 1960 the South African government set up a Damara land reserve for the remaining people to operate in and it was in the northwest of the country where we are now but unfortunately the agricultural quality of the land here is not quite up to speed and so the numbers continue to dwindle since 1960. Some Damara still own farms and live on them and live in their relatively traditional ways but there's no mass organization of Damara still in existence in Namibia today and so that's why the Living Museum was set up and so we're here today to experience the Living Museum to kind of step back in time and see the traditional way that the Damara people lived. So we stepped in and we got a bit of an insight into how the villages used to run. First up was the blacksmith. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Kanya, it's good. Kanya. Hey. 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 When it's red, you have to take it out and beat it on the stone hammer. What's this one for? This one is like for the shave. Oh, to shave. Yeah, okay. you turn it like this. Yeah. You as a small X. Okay. You take out this one, yeah. put some tobacco there, smoke like a smoking oh, pipe. Okay. You have you, three things you yeah, can do. Yeah, you take it out with the horn. You can use to stretch a bag. Okay, four things. Yeah, that's <laughs> the way how they beat it. This one is Ngari Op. Try to say Ngari I Op. Op. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got the clicks, mate. I can't yeah. do that. Top top in English, it's the multifunctional tool, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Ayos. 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 So, Maraquero, the Ajax, okay, man. Eh. Te diga gran gau. And then we were treated to, well, not to taste, but to look at the traditional alcohol uh, that these guys still drink and used to drink. And it was a, a type of beer, so we were taught how it was fermented. Sound Haris. Sound Haris. You can never smell. Mm. Wow. How is it made? This is the traditional beer. We okay. collect it from the Amaisins and are making from the grasses. Okay. When the raining time is coming, mm -hmm. ant houses they are underground and underground it's wet, okay? And when the okay. sun is coming out, they also take it out for dryness. After dryness, as you may be going to collect from them and we put it in the calabash. Okay. The first day it's just like a juice, mm -hmm. but then the last day it's already drunk. And if you drink this one, you will speak the language, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so when you drink this one, you're gonna speak the language that I'm talking. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so here we had to make the fire, and this was not normal fire. So it was very important for a man in my culture before he had a wife. He must be able to create fire. This is a camifera, very soft and light wood. And this is a mopani room. Inside the empty hall, this is how we create fire. Now he translate. And then now he gonna blow it softly. Almost there. <laughs> and then thirdly we were treated to a traditional dance so everyone that works in the village gathered around and showed us a couple of minutes worth of celebratory songs that they would sing at special occasions to celebrate life overall so you do it on birthdays and anniversaries and stuff but it's just to show an appreciation for what you've got
And then we got an insight into the necklaces and jewelry that the Damara people use. And so it was incredible to see what it was ma all made out of. So all of this stuff is made out of ostrich shell, porcupines, seeds, and goat skin. And then finally, we got a look at the traditional medicine that the Damara people use for a range of issues. Okay. Right. He's good, you're good. Oh, you can also stay here, okay? <laughs> yeah, you okay, live here now. <laughs> you can stay here. <laughs> Okay, this one is Marwa Sensi. It's good for the ear problem. Okay. If you're having ear problem or ear infection, you can take the leaf, you boil it out, and you drop in the ear drop. Okay. Okay. Okay, this one is Boskia Fedida or Sting Bush. Okay. Well, we say stink bush when it's blooming time, then it stinks a lot. Okay. And if you're having too much wind inside your stomach, then you take the leaf, you boil it out, and you go, grrr, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. But you must be alone, okay? Yeah. Alone in the house. <laughs> alone in the house, yeah. This one is the dam from Rogdasis. You know Rogdasis? Rock Hyrex. Yes. Oh, yes. So yes. this one is the medicine for the ladies. If a lady is having abnormal period, then she take a piece of the dam, boil it out and drink. Okay. But she must not drink while she's pregnant because it will kill the child. Okay. With these white stems, as the mother says to clean the teeth. Okay. If you're having a running stomach, you take the leaf, you boil it out and you drink, okay? Okay. Yeah. Everything is useful, okay? All yeah. the medicines that you see it. Useful. And that just about wrapped things up. So we're very lucky to have got such an in-depth experience on such short notice just driving through the area. Obviously we came through the Skeleton Coast in the last video and we're moving towards the Atosha National Park now and so we couldn't miss this stop. Uh, so if you are in Namibia between these two regions it's a fantastic way to experience the culture but obviously not fully immersive because it's a living museum rather than the way that these guys actually are practicing their life day to day. But all of the Damara still live together in a lot of instances so all of these guys live about two kilometers away as Damara people in a more modern village, still preserving a lot of their traditional values. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.